Okay, this is a question from uh, 2018, question number 11, probability. I just want to show you something. I think a lot of you probably already know it. You know, if you're looking at permutations and say you're trying to figure out how many things you can, uh, if you have eight cars and you want to put them in three places, well, that's a problem without repetition because they're all unique cars. Um, you might know this formula that you're choosing eight, uh, eight cars to choose from in three places. You just go eight factorial on the top and eight minus three factorial on the bottom. And eight factorial divided by five factorial gives you your answer of 336. Now you can do this question just by going, thinking about choices. In the first place, you have eight cars to choose from. Once you've chosen one, you only have seven left. And then once you've chosen two cars, you only have six left. And eight times seven times six, that gives you 336. Now some questions you have too many multiplications, not so nice. But there's a new button on the calculator. For the factorial one, it's shift and then the X minus one button close to the top. But what you can do is you have shift and then the X button and this P comes up. So this is eight, choose three. You've got eight things to choose from in three places. And you go 8P3 and, pre and press equals, and you get the answer straight away. So it's the um, NPR button, the MPR button, and that's a nice button to have. Let's take a look at the question now. Here it is. You've got the digits 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, and 9 you get to choose from. Now, you're going to make a five-digit code. And the question is, if they can be repeated, how many, um, if they can be repeated, how many different codes can you have? Well, you've got, first, let's figure out how many digits. We count them up. We've got seven digits. Well, it's just seven. And then think about it as choices, you know, and you put down your five boxes, you'd have seven choices times seven times seven. That'd be just seven to the fifth power. And that's your answer, seven to the fifth power. In the five different places you're choosing from in your five digit code, you have seven choices each time. Seven to the fifth is 616807. Okay, the next question. If they cannot be repeated, well, one way of doing it is just seven times six times five, uh, like that, until you've used up the five boxes. But the another way, is just to go seven, choose five. It could be seven factorial over two factorial. So it's really seven times five times four times three. And that will give you 2,520. You can go seven factorial over seven minus five factorial and you'll get the same answer. Or you can use this NPR button and it's seven P five gives you 2,520 choices. Okay, now this last question is a little more tricky. Uh, it's, it gives you three conditions. It's like, and it says, how many unique three-digit codes can be formed? Well, this one, it's best to just look at the boxes. And then you can say, okay, the digits can be repeated. Well, um, if, I could use all seven numbers, it'd be seven cubed, you know? If I mean, if I could use, if, if, if there were no conditions on the first or the second or the third, it'd be seven cubed. But let's go on to the next one because it's gonna restrict us. The code is greater than 400, so it could be a four is okay, but less than 600. So the only two numbers you could have in the first box is, um, five or six, that's two choices there. Let's look at this one here. The code is divisible by five. Well, if we put a three or a four or a six or a seven or an eight or a nine on the end, it just won't work. So there's only one thing that can be on the end that'll make it divisible by five, and that's a five. So there's two choices here, that's a mark. There's one choice here, but in the middle, you can. it's okay to repeat numbers. You've got seven choices. And that's why your answer looks like that. Two choices in the first box, seven in the middle, one on the end. You actually get a mark for each one. And, but the 
key thing is, is put the boxes down and think about how many choices do I have on the left? How many choices do I have in the middle? And how many choices do I have at the end? And that's how you do it. Okay.